From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning. This is Craig Allison here with your Morning Pulse for Tuesday, July 16th. Here is what our first story is up for today. The Winnebago tribe of Nebraska is gaining hundreds of acres of land back. This comes after President Biden signed a bill yesterday, which was introduced by Senator Deb Fisher and passed unanimously in June. It stems from land illegally seized by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers back in the 70s. Senator Fisher saying, quote, our bill becoming law corrects a decades old wrong. Your second story, it's been a dangerous stretch of time on Nebraska roads. The Department of Transportation says in the last year, two workers have been killed and one injured in work zones. NDOT Director Vicki Kramer says those crashes were because of distracted driving, and she says it's a big issue and gets worse every day. Most recently, a worker was killed while directing traffic as crews patched potholes. Your third story, the man accused of killing a Columbus woman and leaving her remains in a Clay County field in 2022 appeared in court for his arraignment Monday. 35-year-old Anthony Madison is charged with first-degree murder in the death of 25-year-old Jasmine Garnett. He also faces three other felony charges. The case was pushed to July 31st at 9 a.m. and a motion for discovery was continued as well. Your fourth story, a lawnmower accident caused a 63-year-old Stanton man to be seriously injured. Stanton County Sheriff's Office got the call just before 11 a.m. Saturday. They later found out the 63-year-old lost control of his riding mower and fell more than 30 feet down an embankment into a creek. The Sheriff's Office says alcohol may be a factor in the accident. He's taken to the hospital, and so far, there's no update on his condition. And ending things off with some lighter news, one UNL professor of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences cannot wait for the premiere of the new movie Twisters. Tornado Chasing Blockbusters director Lee Isaac Chung gained a lot of knowledge from Professor Adam Houston. He made a career as a storm chaser and studies tornadoes and super spells thunderstorms. Houston says he and Chung talked about the difference between storm chasing and storm chasing in science. The film is set to be out in theaters this Friday, and Chung says he hopes the film inspires moviegoers to regard climate scientists like Houston as the real superheroes. We're now going to check out the state highs here with Bill. Rexler, how are you doing? Well, before we dive into the state highs, I also want to just throw a shout out to Dr. Houston, who was my professor in college. I, oh, wow. I wish I could say I was probably his best student, but <laughs> I don't think that's probably the case. Uh, but he was a great, great teacher. Give yourself more credit. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he was a great teacher. And I, I, too, am also excited to see how that Twisters movie turns out. Uh, and the last couple days would have been a really good day to go to the movie theater to take a break inside from like, in the heat and the humidity. Today, though, we finally get a little bit of a break. I'm finally going to mow my lawn this evening as temperatures uh, are finally kind of breaking. We're going to look for cooler conditions on your Tuesday. Highs in the low 80s to low 90s across the state. Warmest readings are going to be in the west and southwest. But we're going to go 86 in Lincoln today, which is actually a few degrees below average. And then as we continue to go through the week, Craig, we're going to continue to see some of that cooler weather. Low 80s for Wednesday, Thursday, mid 80s again on Friday. And then we're talking maybe upper 70s and low 80s as we head through the weekend. So, uh, again, anytime I, th I say you have temperatures anywhere from the upper 70s, to mid 80s in mid to late July you're playing with house money and we're kind of getting away with some, something we probably shouldn't be this time of year all right definitely going to enjoy some of the cool while it's here to last thank you for joining me this mm -hmm. morning Bill and thank you for watching morning pulse be sure to come back to the desk tomorrow morning you've been listening to 1011's morning pulse watch listen stream on the 1011 now app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.